Hi, let us understand how to access the container running within a pod for any debugging purpose or in fact to access the files within them. For understanding purpose, I am going to use a small sample file. Shell demo .yaml file. This is added as a part of the GitHub repository. As well as it can be downloaded from the Kubernetes documentation as well. It's added in this specific location. This is the content of the shell demo.yaml file, which is going to create a pod, and this will be mounting this specific location within the container that is user share nginx HTML as a part of the engines. So basically, this will act like a HTML home directory. Now I'm going to create the pod. I'll go ahead and apply the YAML file using the kubectl command. This particular file is available as a part of the cage.io examples, the specific location. This will create a pod with the name shell-demo. The container is getting created and the name of the pod is shell-demo. I can check the description about the pod using the command kubectl describe pod and then the name of the pod there we will get to know the entire details about that specific pod this is the container that is running within it i wanted to log into this specific container and access the shell for that i will be using the exit command kubectl exit why I am going to access the bash shell within the pod shell demo. So I am going to execute this particular bash shell and it will get executed at the standard input directory. TTY will give the option to execute the bash shell in the interactive mode and I do have only one container within that specific pod. So let me, so within the shell demo pod, I do have only one container. So whenever I'm executing kubectl exec command, it will be executing the commands against this specific container. I'm going to execute kubectl exec and uh, get that executed in the standard input and in the interactive mode against the pod shell demo and execute the bash shell command. Now I am into the specific container. I can execute any command that I wanted over here let me go ahead and do the update apt dash get update this will update all the packages the container is using the debian kernel all the packages are up to date in case if i wanted to have installation of any package i can go ahead and uh, do the installation apt get install curl curl is installed let me execute the curl against the local host so this is going to give the home page of the engines i do not have any files now let me go ahead and create the index.html file against the html home directory this is the location where we should have the index.html we do not have let's go ahead and create index.html i'm using echo this specific text into the index.html now let me check the index.html yes i do have let me get into this location and see the content within it i do have index.html i do have the text hello shell demo now i can go ahead and uh, access the home page of engines using curl localhost and it should provide this particular text so this is a quick demo on how to use the exit command and open the bash shell and install any required software and the same thing we can do it to check the logs or the content within the running container exit will take me out from the bash shell and all we did when the container was running so the container is in the running state and we are able to log into the container running within the specific pod and make changes to 